Okay, uh, to solve this problem, what we see is we have a lot of addition, we have a lot of multiplication, and then we have some things that are inside parentheses. So remember, when doing order of operations, you're, we're gonna wanna use, um, we're gonna wanna always do the operation that are inside the parentheses first. Then once we look inside the parentheses, we look for any other parentheses. Now I do see some parentheses, but these parentheses are just around one number. So there's really no operation that I need to operate between you know, just that one number. Um, then I look for exponents, there's no exponents. Then I look for all my multiplication and division problems. Well, you can see I have three multiplication problems. So I'm gonna work on those from left to right. It's really not gonna make a difference here, um, but you always just wanna get in the habit of always working left to right. So let's go and get this done. Now I can't do anything with this negative one fourth until everything is simplified inside the parentheses. So I'll just rewrite the negative one fourth here for now. And I do three times negative five, which is a negative 15, plus seven times negative five is gonna give me a negative 35, plus one times negative two gives me a negative two. Now I just kept these in parentheses just so you guys can see that that gives me a negative number, but it's still a plus. Well, plus and negative is the same thing as subtracting. So let's rewrite this in a little bit easier terms. Negative 15, or maybe not easier, but maybe you guys might understand it. Negative 15 minus two. So just a different way to write it. Now, if you have trouble adding and subtracting when dealing with negative numbers, this might be a little difficult for you to understand. But if you look at this, negative 15 plus a negative 35, right, is gonna give me a negative 50. Plus a negative two would give me a negative 52. So it's negative one fourth times a negative 52. Um, if I wrote it like this, it's the same thing. You just keep on subtracting um, from your negative 15. So now what I need to do is say, all right, negative one fourth times a negative 52. So how do you multiply a fraction times a whole number? Well, remember, ladies and gentlemen, that I don't need these parentheses anymore, but a negative one fourth can be written as a fraction, and so can negative 52. So you can write negative 52 as a fraction over one. Then I'm gonna multiply across. So what I'll be left with, um, our negatives are gonna cancel out, so I'll be left with 52 over four. So multiplying by negative, as long as my uh, numerator is a one, is the same thing as like dividing by what your uh, denominator was. So 52 divided by four. How many times is four going to 52? Well, I know four goes into 40 10 times, with the, and then there's gonna be a remainder of 12 to get up to 52. And I know that four goes into 12 three times. So therefore 10 plus three gives me 13. So the final answer is going to be 13.